Hello my friends, this is Ranger Rob and it appears that we're definitely not having a sparkling day in Central Oregon. We've got a windstorm really coming through here and uh, I don't dare feed my piggies right now. We've got sideways rain. I'm just kind of taking a look to make sure. Oh, hello. Um, that uh, I don't have any problems with the greenhouse or anything. Uh, I do need to feed the pigs tonight, but I'm kind of see if this sprawl will uh, stop or, or chill out. And just making sure I'm not getting any damage or anything I need to go save. But hey, Cinder, hey, Belle. I know it's icky, huh? Come on, Cinder. Whoa, hello. So, yeah, we got some serious stuff going on here. Um, Poor pigs are confused too, uh, but there's no way I could get food to them right now without it flying everywhere. And I kind of want them to go into their shelter. But uh, yeah, you just never know. Let's see, we were fighting snow before. Now we got major windstorm. We can't seem to see spring weather ever. But uh, yeah, we'll just keep an eye on things right now and make sure uh, we don't have any damages. But you know, this stuff happens. But uh, it just seems to always happen here in Central Oregon. Well, guys, it's the next morning and it's a little calmer. <laughs> and uh, we'll take a look out. Last time we were on here, we had sideways rain and I thought everything was going to blow apart. So it looks like everything survived. So uh, today is uh, a Tuesday for us and uh, it's cloudy. It's not a sparkling day in Central Oregon, but much better than last night. So, uh, of course, we got to feed our piggies over here. Um, let's see. Uh, the main thing today is we got to get some feed at the feed store. And then, of course, there's always stuff that comes up. So, yep, priority is restock the food for the pigs and the chickens. And uh, that'll be costly. And... Uh, yeah, because I usually will buy like nine bags of pig feed. That's about, oh, $16 a bag. And then two bags of uh, chicken is closer to 18 or 19. And uh, yeah, <sighs> nothing's, nothing's free and nothing's cheap. And it's only getting worse. There's them little piggies. Let's go say hi. All right, guys, there's our sexy babies right there. We'll shut off the electric fence first. Hello, piggies. We got Sparky. We got Z Z Zelda, Maggie, and Mr. Cow. You guys hungry? Huh? All right, let's get them fed. All right, guys. We get the piggies all fed. They're happy. And, uh, I had to go find one bowl, but uh, yeah, I don't know why, they just gotta hide bowls from me. We're replacing their water with nice clean water. And every time I dump that out, it makes their wallow a little bit more wet for them, but they don't use the wallow that much until it heats up. And then uh, <laughs> when they do, they become little muddy messes. It's kind of cute, but not right now, but couple more weeks maybe we'll get warmer weather and we'll start seeing the pigs play in the wallow much more and it's getting close to us thinking about moving their paddock to a new location on the property so yep time for a change well we're moving on and bell found a golf ball what you got what you got there oh a golf ball oh boy bring it here let's see your <laughs> what you got? What you got? Bring it here. <laughs> that's a that's a golf ball. I don't know where she found that, but what you got there? She thinks it's the coolest thing in the world. So uh, doesn't take much to amuse her. So of course we got to check our chickens. 
check a greenhouse and then uh, go from there. Well, we just got the uh, chickens a little extra food. And uh, the one thing I got kind of get used to doing again is checking, uh, checking the tanks, making sure there's uh, plenty of water in the tanks and uh, look for big wet spots in the floor. Tells me that one of my emitters is off or something. And uh, floating rafts are looking good. Getting lots of, uh, <coughs> of uh, lettuce growing here. This is butter crunch you see. And I got a spinach in here too. I'll probably be making a new salad this week. And I think I got my eyes on one of these already to add to it. So that's really cool. But let's see. I'm really doubting it, but why not try? Let's see if this tomato plant is surviving. Yeah, that tomato plant doesn't look real happy about this situation, but uh, yeah, you know, it's worth trying. <laughs> yes, it's time to go to the store and pick up some doggy food. Oh, not doggy food, piggy food. So these two are excited, stay down. They always like to go for a ride. Wait, stay down. All right, let's see if they can get in without killing each other. One's in. The German Shepherd doesn't know she knows how to jump. So she's kind of a dork. So anyway, let's uh, hop in here. Let's see what these little uh, puppies are up to. <laughs> Hi guys, you ready to go for a ride? And you're probably ready for some treats too, right? All right. We just happen to keep some right here. And uh, there's one for you, one for you. All right, let's get this show on the road. Well, we did just get back from the feed store. That definitely hurt. Uh, just taking a peek of what we did, checking prices. Um, so there we go, uh, nine bags of hog 19, two bags of hog 19, they're 40 pound bags. Hog 19 is, uh, I mean, uh, chicken feed is, uh, 50 pound bags. Uh, I got two of those. That's, uh, layer crumbles. And then this other bag is, uh, pellet bedding. And that's for the new baby chicks that are coming and about... A week and a half total over a hundred and thirty dollars they were telling me that hay with alfalfa is over thirty dollars a bale now and regular hay is around twenty dollar grass hay so uh yeah it's getting more expensive out there guys and that was painful but it is what it is so we just do what we can uh i just buy less espressos <laughs> <laughs> and we eat at home more and uh, that kind of takes the pain away a little bit well guys uh, I'd take a walk out here to the new above-ground garden beds uh, those two have strawberries in them and they're covered I'm gonna take a peek at them in a minute see how they're doing see if there's anything concerning it looks like we had a pretty good rain um, so I was considering if I needed the water or anything, but I got to check the strawberries still, but these things have some big potential. And right now we just put early spring before frost planting in here. And uh, I don't see any signs of anything coming up yet, but it's a slower process. It's not the same. It's not really something we're used to doing. So it'll be interesting to see if, uh, we have any success um, and if not we just do something else but eventually these things will be thriving just mark my words but yeah um, still very exciting can't wait to get these really going um, and uh, eventually we're going to be putting walkways in here uh, probably either a bark or a, a pea gravel or something we still got the rest of that field to develop. That's coming up. We're just kind of waiting for the weather to get a little better. 
And we had to get the greenhouse done first and cleaned up and operational. But yeah, um, it'll be interesting to see if anything starts breaking through the ground here. Well guys, it's the next day. In fact, it's a goody goody gumdrop day. Um, not a sparkling day in Central Oregon. Absolutely not, it's all cloudy. Definitely cool. Time for us to feed some piggies, but not before we check if we've killed any more plants today. Because that seems to be the goal. And uh, plant them, kill them. Plant them, kill them. Forget sunshine, forget nice weather. Forget spring, just plant things and watch them die. That's it. So, uh, coming up to uh, the NFT and uh, looks like uh, spinach is still alive. This is good. Still gotta fix the pipe in this hole. We'll get around to that. Chickens are alive. Nothing's falling apart. It's a goody goody gumdrop day. <clears throat> and uh, let's check on the greenhouse real quick. See if anything interesting is happening in here yet. Water uh, dust buckets are running. And uh, got a lot of water. This area looks like I got a drip. And uh, actually, only because one of my pipes was off set here a little bit. Which tells me to check the tank. Plenty of water, so we didn't lose too much. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I don't see anything in here yet, or here. But the lettuce is looking good. Um, yeah, and uh, spinach is growing really well. So we'll be bringing more spinach out here because uh, my propagator is full and I need to reload it with new lettuce because by the time that lettuce is ready, this should be all eaten up. So, uh, and I'm afraid to go look at the tomato. <clears throat> As you know, guys, I tried to put a tomato in here early just to see what happens. And uh, let's take a peek. This may be really sad. Let's go. Well, it's still alive, um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Well, we did get the piggies all fed. They're uh, all doing well. Not babies. And uh, yep, I've got so many things to do. I still got to get another house built. And next week or two, they need to move their paddock to a new area. So yeah, it's never, never, a, it's an endless list of things to do, but that's okay. There's never a dull moment here either, I guess. So uh, I was kind of hoping they'd take out more of the shrubs out, of, out there, but we'll do that with the tractor when we move them. What's really nice is all their poop and stuff gets, we level out the ground like this, gets merged into the dirt and soil. Then we uh, put cover crop on it and uh, we start getting grass like we're starting to get in that area. So someday this will be a grassy field, I guess. I need to get more water to it, but uh, not a problem this month. We've been getting snow and rain like crazy. All right, let's move on. Yeah, I thought I'd do a follow up on some of the uh, transplants we did here. Um, some of the uh, Strawberries are all getting their leaves. We transplanted some of the uh, toma tomatoes from here to there. Got to do some more. Um, 
still get some older tomatoes that we're trying to recover. Some are coming back. Others aren't going to make it. More strawberries here. They're all starting to... Uh, Yeah, uh, get some spinach here also. This is all spinach. And uh, yeah, so everything's going pretty good here. I gotta get some more of these tomatoes moved. I gotta make some room on this shelf. But uh, yeah, busy, busy, busy. Hi guys, this is my little cooking with Ranger Rob section. I've discovered a little thing. It's just delicious and I don't have a, there's no written recipe for it. I just kind of made this up, but Sherry's been making a lot of artisan bread. So I took a piece of artisan bread and uh, I've been doing this a couple of days now and it's delicious, but I've been making a cheesy bread out of it, but a little different. So I'll, I'll tell you the, what I'll be putting on here and then I'll try to show some of it. There'll be butter, uh, lightly mayonnaise, just for a little tartness to it. Then I uh, put Canadian bacon on it, and then a little bit of a green onions. Then I put a, a mixed taco mixed cheese on it, and uh, I think that's about it. And then I heat my oven up to 400, throw it in there and let it get toasty and a little slightly browned. And what a treat, oh my gosh, it's so good. So let's, uh, let's make one and see how it comes out. Alright guys, our cheesy bread has been cooking. I've had it at 400 degrees. We're going to take a peek, see what it looks like. I've been doing it by sight. Um, it's been about 7 to 10 minutes, I would guess. And let's take a look. And, uh, it's looking good and smells good, so I'll get a closer look. Let me pull it out. So there you have it. This is my cheesy bread right here. Uh, I don't see why you couldn't put like chicken on it or ham or any other kind of little um, meat you want to put at. You can modify it any way you want. Maybe put a little bit of heat to it. Um, but yeah, this is so easy, so delicious. An artisan bread, it's really good. This is our homemade artisan bread. And then uh, tonight, uh, I'm going to make for the first time uh, Mongolian um, meal for my wife and I uh, over white rice and uh, uh, yeah it's just I think it's important that we all learn how to cook and also learn how to make more things homemade we'll probably never get completely to being self-sustaining as far as making our food but anything you can do to help uh, uh, help your uh, household save a little money learn how to cook things yourself it's a, it's a good thing. So, uh, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video right here. So, please, take the time to uh, like and share and uh, subscribe to our videos. We'd really appreciate it. Uh, I want to say thank you for all of our new subscribers. And also, when you get a chance, in the comments below, please take the time to say hello and tell us things that you'd like us to maybe uh, have me cook. Um, definitely like to cook. Definitely like to use our Traeger. And uh, yeah, so guys, learn how to cook. Everybody, learn how to cook. The more you can do homemade, the better. Uh, but you know, we're all a little different. We all have certain time in the day that we can cook. And um, yeah, the 
we just do our best. That's all we can do is do our best. So guys, have a great day and we'll talk to you later. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.